behind the president, but troop morale as well. The front page of tomorrow's Stars and Stripes, circulating to 90,000 frontline troops, says this. The general's interview, quote, dumps a fresh war dilemma on Obama's desk, end quote. So uh, Rolling Stone magazine, it hits the newsstands on Friday, but tonight retired military personnel and analysts here in San Diego are calling the general's comments extremely out of character. It's inappropriate in a working relationship, regardless of the law. It's, you know, how can you work with somebody in a professional manner when you've made public statements that are derogatory about him and his team? Retired Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Richards is also skeptical about where those comments came from. Most of the quotes in the magazine article don't come directly from General McChrystal and seem to have been made by his close aides outside of a formal interview. Still, military experts say the general is ultimately responsible for his team, and there are serious questions about his judgment in allowing such lengthy and unrestricted access. Experts say President Obama must now act in a way that shows his leadership, but also in a way that causes the least distraction to the mission in Afghanistan. I don't think it's a, a big distractor for uh, the, the soldiers on the ground. You know, I think what you're, see what you're seeing today, you know, in this morning's news, is essentially Washington fodder. Most of the experts we talked with today agree that General McChrystal is not irreplaceable and that the war effort should not see any major changes as a result of whatever decision is ultimately made.